Hello everyone, welcome back to the College Review Series by Akash, a platform where we help you make informed decisions about India's top colleges. So today we are going to review IIT Jodhpur, one of the newest IITs that's steadily carving its niche. So if you are in a fuss whether or not to consider this IIT for your higher education, then stay with me as we explore its campus, courses, placements, cutoff, fee structure and a lot more. Indian Institute of Technology Jodhpur was established in the year 2008 to foster technology, education and research in India. It is one of the top ranked institutes in India. The IIT has been ranked 28th in the engineering category and 68th in the overall category by NIRF 2024. Let's have a look at its wonderful campus now. IIT Jodhpur has recently been shifted to its permanent campus which is spread over an area of 552 acres located 24 kilometers away from the center of the city of Jodhpur on National Highway 64. The campus is fully residential with dedicated zones for academic, students' housing and research. The facilities available for the students at the campus are state-of-the-art insulated building, air-conditioned rooms, 24-7 high-speed Wi-Fi and LAN connections, RO filters and water coolers and hot water geysers on each floor, housing, laundry and maintenance facilities, sports and recreational facilities, separate green area and large parking area for students' convenience, laboratories, computer centers, library and medical facilities. Moving on to the academics now. So IIT Jodhpur offers a wide range of undergraduate, postgraduate and doctoral level programs. Talking specifically about the BTEC program, then the IIT offers BTEC in 8 specializations with 490 seats available for the aspirants. So BTEC programs at IIT Jodhpur include programs such as Bioengineering, Computer Science and Engineering, Electrical Engineering, Mechanical Engineering, Artificial Intelligence and Data Science, Chemical Engineering, Materials Engineering, and Civil and Infrastructure Engineering. But how to get admission in one of these courses is a big question. So for that, you need to follow the admission process and eligibility criteria. So the candidate aspiring to get admission in one of the BTEC courses need to first of all pass class 12 board examination with physics, chemistry and mathematics as their core subjects. For general category, the required aggregate is 75%, whereas for categories such as ST, SE or PWT, then the required aggregate is 65%. Further, the candidates must clear J advance to be eligible for the admission process. And to be eligible for the same, the students must pass J main paper 1. Foreign nationals need not to clear J main, they can directly register themselves for J advance. Thereafter, you need to register yourself for JOSA counseling. For foreign students, they get accepted through DASA, Direct Admission of Students Abroad and ICCR schemes. Now, let's have a look at the fee structure. So talking about the fee structure, then here is the consolidated fee structure per semester which includes tuition fee, one-time admission charges, one-time convocation fee, semester fees and refundable deposit that is to be paid once at the time of admission. So the grand total for the students who are opting for the hostel facilities is going to be 1 lakh 42,050 and for the day scholars that means those who are not opting for hostel facilities is going to be 1,34,800. So all in all if you talk about the cost of entire BTEC program from IIT Jodhpur now this will amount between 10 lakh to 11 lakh that is for the entire four years program which is comparatively lesser if you compare the same with some of the other second generation IITs. 
In addition to the tuition fee remission, the IIT also offers some scholarship schemes to promote education as well as to encourage meritorious and talented students who come from financially weaker backgrounds. So the scholarships offered here by IIT Jodhpur are SC Scholarship for Top Class Students, ST Scholarship for Top Class Students and UGC CSIR, GSRF or SRF funding. Further, the students can also apply on the National Scholarship Portal NSP. To get the complete details of scholarship, fellowship, interest subsidy, fee reimbursement, etc., you can press the link given in the description. Moving on to the placement statistics now. So, talking about the placements for the session 2023-24, 180 plus companies participated in the placement drive and 380 plus offers were made. Talking about the branch wise placement, then 95% from the CSC department, 95.95 from electrical engineering department, 87.30% from mechanical engineering, and 76% from the bioengineering branch were placed with an overall placement rate of 91.88%. Talking about the highest packages and the average packages drawn in the same year, so nothing has been disclosed by the IIT on the website, whereas the same has been claimed by different websites as highest package to be 53 lakh per annum, average package to be around 21 lakh per annum and median package to be around 15 lakh per annum. So here is a long list of recruiters who participated in the 2023-24 placement drive. So to conclude the placements, then the placements at IIT Jodhpur are definitely promising. But if we compare it with the other IITs, that is especially the older IITs, then there is still a long way to go. Now it's time to know the J rank cutoff for the session 2024-25. As to be eligible for admission here at IIT Jodhpur, your J advanced rank must fall between the opening and closing rank of your preferred branch. So here is the branch wise rank cutoff. You can use this data as reference for your choice filling process during JOSA counseling. Talking about artificial engineering first then the rank cutoff after the sixth round of josa counseling for this branch open for general neuter at 3048 and closed at 4182 for chemical engineering the opening rank stood at 8295 and the closing was 11036 Talking about computer science and engineering, then the rank went as high as 2062 and the rank closed at 3061. Civil and infrastructure engineering, the opening rank for gender neutral was 11244 and closing rank was 13316. Here is the branch wise cutoff for all the remaining branches. You can pause the video or take a screenshot. For more information on IIT Jodhpur rank cutoff for the session 2024-25 or for category wise cutoff, that is for ST, SC, PWD category or for girls students, do visit the link given in the description. Now let's have a glimpse of students' life here at IIT Jodhpur. So to ensure skill-based learning, the IIT has some dedicated clubs for conducting various activities. Clubs such as Programming Club, Design and Creativity Club, Literature Club and Filmmaking Club. Further, going beyond academics, the IIT also conducts certain events in fest time to time. So the events such as Prometheus, which is the technical and entrepreneurship festival of IIT Jodhpur. For the Spandan, it is IIT Jodhpur's inter hostel cultural fest. Varchas, which is IIT Jodhpur's annual sports festival. And Ignis, which is IIT's annual social and cultural festival. It's a platform for the country's biggest artists, thinkers, and cultural practitioners to share their work with the world. Now let's find out what do the students have to say about this IIT. Students reviews, which is based on the reviews given on the various trusted websites. Overall placements are good and the facilities are great. You'll have to study round the year to score. The sports facilities here are top notch whether you're playing cricket, football, basketball or any other sports. It's a perfect place to stay active and healthy. The best thing about the college is hostel. You are given a single occupancy room with an air conditioner. The location of the campus is far away from the city. The IIT foster a culture where addressing the seniors and mentors by their name is the norm. The IIT provides fertile ground for exploration and self-discovery. 
The IIT has recently introduced an option to receive instructions in either Hindi or English from the current academic year, that is 2024-25, were some of the reviews given by the students. All right, so if you are looking for cutting edge courses, quieter environment to study, excellent facilities, and of course the tag of IIT, then IIT Jodhpur is certainly a strong contender. However, it is always important to weigh the pros and cons, that is the newness of the institute, location, placement opportunities for making a decision. As this was all from me today. Now you let me know in the comment section, what did you like the most about this IIT, IIT Jodhpur. Don't forget to press the like and subscribe button so you do not miss out on any updates. For more such informative content, stay connected.